Oh, <laughs> I know the courts don't believe it, but um, as government employees, yeah, <laughs> those rights that you say that you can violate because my wife said I was crazy. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually had a couple businesses, and as successful or unsuccessful as they were, yes. I started them with the intention of being successful. <laughs> Very few individuals will actually apply for a UBI number. Maybe you could get me those in every state of the United States. Yeah. <laughs> uh, without the intent of being successful. Pooch. <laughs> now, the, this uh, power that's uh, reserved to the citizens, that uh, amendment number 10. Yes. You didn't have any problem. Yes. Violating amendment 10 on July 8th of 2011. Oh. <laughs> You didn't see any problem issuing a protection order where you gave custody of my sons, yes, to my wife, <laughs> without any actual notice or opportunity to be heard. <laughs> then approximately 50 times over the last seven years and four months, <laughs> you have no problem violating a citizen's right to be successful. <laughs> it's one of those powers that we have as citizens of the United States where <laughs> you would think, yes, that when you inform law enforcement, right, <laughs> that your civil rights are being violated, that they would have an obligation. But <laughs> the Clampets showed up, did they? The Beverly Hillbillies, or should I say the Clallam Hillbillies? Hooch! As long as they pay, right, you're going to cover up the crime <clears throat> of violating my right to success. Ooh! <laughs> I never started a business with the intention of failure. Pooch, it was always the intention of success. Yes. Now, these tax ID numbers for the individual states, yes. Mm -hmm. Why don't you get me the signatures on every application for uh, state incorporation? Yes. I'd like to know what the Secretary of State is doing today because of all the lawsuits where I said, well, I'm going to have to take ownership of the state capital. Yes. Why don't you get me the employees of every state capital of the United States? <laughs> See, they don't really understand the liability. <laughs> It's not just the state legislature. Coach, it's this whole concept that you can issue court orders where there is no penalty of perjury. Yes. And there's the unlimited liability. <laughs> now, I'm going to get to suing today, okay? Now, the Clampets, they were sold on the idea of buying government buildings, and they gave Honest Joe uh, $10 million. <laughs> I thought I'd sue you for every fucking property of the United States of America.